So welcome back to another 2019 Miley League Rebuild here on NBA 2K18. In today's video, we are going to be using the Houston Rockets. Very excited to use this team to be able to use James Harden, Chris Paul. Two guys you really can never use unless you do use the Rockets, unless you're also doing a fantasy draft, something like that, because they are pretty much untradeable, and I love this backcourt. It's probably the best in the NBA. I would say Harden's, like, not even comparable to Klay Thompson skill-wise, and then Chris Paul and Curry are closer than Thompson and um, Harden. That's why I would say this is probably... Uh, the best backcourt in the NBA, but I'm not really getting into that. These guys are absolutely not going anywhere. Pretty much the same with Capella. The rest of this team is pretty much free to go. They just resigned Carmelo Anthony. Not really sure if he'll be here the whole video. Not making a ton of money. I doubt I can even move him right now. I can't. So, for the rest of this team, I mean, there's really not much you can do with the Rockets rebuild. Like, at that point, like, what what can I do? I don't have any cap space. I'm not going to have any cap space. I'm not trading Clint Capella, who's on a very, very good contract for type of center he is Eric Gordon very well could be moved after the season for maybe a top pick something like that but yeah we're, we're we are what we are at the moment um I'm thinking about I know it said in real life that Melo will be coming off the bench I'm probably honestly just going to start him and leave Eric Gordon as my sixth man so I think that's really it um I might be trading um immediately either James Ennis or Gerald Green probably Gerald Green for some sort of backup point guard or something along those lines. Uh, we're going to go 35 here to Capella. So, I mean, just because I don't have a backup point guard on the team, I don't think. Yeah, neither of these guys are playing. Uh, I'm also going to send Melton to the G League, I think. Melton. And I think I'm going to send Hart and You know what? We'll send Zauki as well. Just because, I mean, I have three spots. Might as well use them. So, Gerald Green for some sort of point guard. I mean, he's two... Not... Okay, two stars, which isn't bad. Uh, Andrew Harrison's not bad, except he's a free agent after this year, which is always unfortunate. Tony Parker, no... Let's see. Let me see. Um, Seth Curry. Is he a point guard? He is a point guard. You know what? I think we're, yeah, we're going to take Seth Curry. We got a pick as well. Why not? Decent, serviceable backup point guard. So we're just going to go ahead and give Seth Curry um, pretty much the minutes that we were going to give to Gerald Green. So yeah, the team is really all set. I have three guys in the G League. This team's probably going to do pretty well. 2K loves the Rockets. It's also a really, really solid team. Who knows? Maybe we'll win a championship. I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. We had a pretty good year. Uh, James Harden won MVP, and we went 68-14. and 14. Cannot complain at all. He averaged a double-double. Like, you really... Oh, I love using the Rockets. And we had Coach of the Year and Mike D'Antoni. So that is very, very good. We can check out our stats. Actually, we'll do standings first. 12 games up on the Warriors, who really should be better than us, but they're just not Harden. Mello. Okay. 21 points, pretty much. Five and a half rebounds, too. I, I will take that. Is not what I was expecting. Gordon... Paul double-double as well. Capella was, oh my god, for 15 points, 14 and a half rebounds. Negative chance I will be ever trading him. We were very, very good. Like, stats-wise, we actually might have been, like, the most efficient scoring team in the league. Uh, not that. Stats, points per game. We were the best. We were pretty good defense, and we had a 20-point differential. Like, this is what I mean. Like, you don't even need to rebuild this team, in all honesty, because they're just so good. Probably going to win the championship. If, if I'm being completely honest, the Nuggets are the four seed. We're facing the Thunder in the Western Conference Finals, not even the Warriors. And we're actually, okay, they won a few games, but not to be competing with us. We're taking on the 76ers in the NBA Finals. I honestly think we should sweep them. If, if I'm being totally honest, we're up 3-0. Quick sweep. Uh, so I'm going for the 3 Pete. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I really don't know what moves I can make with this team. If Melo wants, like, $18 million, like, goodbye. Like... Thank you for your time, but I'm just, I'm not paying a 34, 35 year old, whatever it is, that much money. I just can't morally do it. Uh, our assistant coach is good ratings. This guy's good and this guy's fine. Uh, scout, we're going to go Rod Baker. And then I'm, I'm going to fire this guy. He's good, but of course I got to get the boy Jimmy Lynch. So hopefully we get two of these guys. Do we get Baker after day two? Please tell me I get him. And we do. So the staff is all set for the whole video. Let's head into the draft. I think we're going to have the last pick. Um, and no, we don't even have our first round pick this year. Okay, well. Whatever, Ryan Anderson will be moved immediately because this is money that I can get rid of, and I do not want him on this team in the slightest. First round pick in a second from Denver. Not sure why anybody would ever take this contract, but you know what? I, I guess I can't complain. So let's see what other contracts we have to move. Tucker is going to be moved, and Nene are both going to be traded separately for picks. And then Gordon, I'm kind of up in the air on. He probably has some really, really good value, but... I just don't know. Like, he's a really good sixth man. Like, that's that's my case in point. But I don't know really what I could get that's better than him. But if I'm going to trade him, it's probably going to be for a high pick or at least somebody that can start. Uh, I'm going to take this first round pick from... We'll go Pelicans. We will take the Pelicans pick. And then I'm thinking... Could I get a top 10? Does Eric Gordon's go up overall go up if you move him a small forward? It does not. So I'm just going to leave him at shooting guard. And I think I'm going to try to move him for a top pick. Three and a half star trade value. Any chance I can get, like, the fifth overall pick... 
and I will give you the 28th pick in the second round and a couple more seconds, and they agree to that. We have the fifth pick. I'm not really sure who I'm going to draft. Um, big man-wise, Bull Bull is interesting, but I'm kind of looking at a power forward, and there's really not a ton of power forwards. Like, Sharif O'Neal is kind of the best one, and I really can't play Bull Bull at power forward or capella really so maybe zion if he falls and i'll draft him i don't know i'm gonna draft somebody so you guys are rookie signing so i ended up selecting nasir little with a fifth overall pick he very well could be my starting small forward he's a little bit undersized which is unfortunate but we really don't have anybody else that could really fit at small forward at the moment so melon's a 78 thou a 75 and hardenstein's a 75 as well so this is very very helpful because definitely all three of those guys could be bench pieces so i'm pretty happy i sent him to the g league um when it comes to james ennis I don't really think I want him really on the team anymore. If I can get a pick for him, I'm going to take it. He is a 77 overall, which is kind of serviceable, but I'd like to get somebody maybe a little bit younger, similar contract, something like that. So let's see what we could get. Jordan Clarkson wouldn't be horrible if this was the last year. Jay Crowder's not that bad, but it's kind of like, it's not a lot of money, but it's like a little bit more than I want. Semi shit to? Sure. Why not? I mean, we can always send him to G League. I mean, we have the spots now. So qualifying, we have none. Thank God Chris Paul and James Harden are neither free agents, so we are not going to have a ton of cap space, which is unfortunate. Um, it's very, very unfortunate, actually. We're 12 mil off, and there's really nobody here I could even move. If like These two are just making so much money and just eating up so much of the cap space. So let's see. We have what? If we have, what is that, like $18 million, which isn't like a ton, but it's a decent amount to spend. Drogic only wants 22 but he should have some good value, for being honest, if I trade him. So I'd have to trade it like 3 mil. Oh, it has to be all those guys. So it's going to have to be $18 million. First of all, do I have bird rights on Melo? Um, Carmelo Anthony, I do, who wants 16 mil. He honestly probably has a big enough cap hold himself. But let's see. Is there anybody else here I'd rather sign over him? JJ Redick, not really. Um, come on. Give me somebody. Bogdanovich, no. Collison, not, not even. Like, I guess it's just going to be Melo. Uh, I would like to bring back Seth Curry as well. Hopefully, he didn't get a deal already. Um, Seth Curry did not get a deal. We should have enough money to bring him back, and we do. So, these two are going to come back. Melo had a really, really good year. I'm hoping that maybe will boost his trade value a little bit because I really don't want to leave this team the way it is. Like, I'd rather trade Melo for some sort of power forward. So, I know I said I wasn't going to sign him on this, but you can still trade him. Like, I meant when I said I'm not going to sign him, and I'm not going to keep him on it. So, let's see. Any way I could get Jokic for Carmelo Anthony, for Carmelo Anthony, and how much Rockets require two million more. And you can have Isaiah Hartenstein, and you can also have Semi Shit too. That's actually a really good piece to put in there. And as many, that Memphis pick has a lot of value. Okay, I would be willing to give this up. And this pick, and this pick. God, it's it's like close. I can tell too. Oh, boy, uh, Blake could be an option. Like I'm trying to get somebody not making a ton of money. I mean, Draymond honestly could be an option. Like, I know people don't love it when I get Draymond, but at least he's not, like, making a ton of money. And we don't really need any more scores. So if I can't get Draymond, I'm probably going to go after Aaron Gordon. So Draymond for Carmelo Anthony. And I'm not going to give up any of these picks. I'll give you the Portland pick and this pick. And this pick. And they agree to that. Draymond Green, now a Houston Rocket. Um, I'm pretty happy with this team's out. We have two point guards. Actually, we have three point guards. Shit, I kind of forgot about that. Um... Curry's, uh, he's only 6'2", but I'm just going to move him to shooting guard anyway. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I'm going to move Isaiah Hartenstein to power forward. And are there any small forwards that I could really sign here? Like, this is, again, why Rockets rebuilds aren't the most fun thing in the world because you really can't do anything. Actually, do I have a mid-level exception? I have a $5 million mid-level exception. Okay. Uh, because you really can't do anything with, like, them. Like, the team is kind of, like, already where it is, and it's kind of already set. So let's see, if there's anybody here I would want, um, Tony Bradley, no. I need like, Sam Decker. Sam Decker is a pretty good overall. I would absolutely take him. If he wants to accept this, he's only 25 years old. He accepts it and we get him. He was once on the Rockets, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't matter to me though. Team's all set for season number two. I'll see you guys at the start of the season with the rotation. So this is gonna be the rotation for season number two. It's gonna be Chris Paul, James Harden, Nasir Little, Draymond Green, and Clint Capella. Off the bench, we got Seth Curry, DeAnthony Mellon, Isaiah Harden, Sainz Aoki, and Sam Decker. So. The team improved, if anything. Definitely have championship expectations. See you guys at the end of the second season. So a little bit worse of a record than last year, but still 95% positive we were first in the West. Curry MVP, 65 and 17. This is why I drafted him. Rookie of the year, 18.5 points, 6.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 2 steals. Like, 
Dude's a baller. Markel Fultz, Drummond, Brown Jr., and D'Antoni is once again the coach of the year. So we are first. Western Conference cannot complain. Harden, Paul, Little, Capella, Curry, Melton, Draymond Green is not here for his stats. Like, that's what people don't understand when I get Draymond Green. I don't get him to put up, like, 15 points and, like, eight rebounds and five assists. Like, I don't expect that from him. Like, I'm fine with 10 points or whatever the hell else his stats are. I don't go into defensive statistics in this. So, like, you clearly don't understand that. Like, that's part of the big aspect. Like, most, most people, if I'm being honest, don't care when I get Draymond. And that's... I appreciate that because I hate my comment sections being flooded with, why do you get Draymond? He puts up horrible stats. Well, I'm not getting him for his stats, genius. It's pretty obvious. This is a close game. Okay, well, I'm going to hop in. Why not try to close out the Warriors, and I'll see you guys in there. I would lie if I was saying I wasn't nervous right now. Um, I'm definitely very, very nervous right now. No, what? No. Are you kidding me, Clint Capella? Oh, do I want Hardenstein in, or do I want... I could go, like, serious small ball and throw, like, Melton in. How tall is he? 6'3", 16... Yeah. I'm just going to switch these two, but, yeah, they're going to stay in the game because he's 7 foot, so that sucks. Uh, I'm on Hall of Fame if you care. That really, really sucks. But I get to use Harden, so I'm excited to use Harden. Uh, I'm going to run the smart play, and it's an ISO. Come on. Dude, drive. Oh, my God. How could that have possibly gone any worse? Isaiah Harden seen his... Mello's pissed. Mello is pissed. I'm just I'm just really trying not to blow this. Really, really trying not to blow this. Why are you, what in the world? Why are you running a pick for Isaiah Hartenstein? Why first of all, why is Boogie cover okay, this is just absolutely going about his worst case scenario. This is so bad. Like <laughs> I understand that wasn't a good look, but still, if he's in front of the basket, oh my god. Yeah, let Steph Curry get a rebound over a seven-footer. Like, why do I even hop in? Why do I even hop in? I, I literally hate this game so much. It's just so aggravating. Uh, I do not want Isaiah Hartenstein in. I'm going to put in Zhao Key. Oh, brother. This is just... Not even really fun for me at this point. It's just, it's really not. It's just not easy. It's bullshit half the time. Like, people hit contested layups. I literally hate to break it to you. It, it, uh, it happens. Uh, they want me to do a play right now. They want me to shoot right now. I don't know why I did that. Like, I, I'm, I just, I don't know. I, 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 I just don't know. This is just such a cheat code, and it's kind of bullshit, but I need my shooters. Yeah, that's, um, I want Hartenstein in over him. Or not Hartenstein, just your little. I, I, I don't know. Harden's obviously going to be taking the shot. No way. Yeah, didn't think so. I'm I'm done hopping in, I think, at this point. It's just not fun. I don't ever really win. Warriors are literally a cheat code. Like, I don't know. I really don't care if you tell me how bad I am in the comment section. There's a 95% chance I'll probably delete it if you do. So, yep, that's, um, that sucks. That's not going to be happening. So, I'm just going to be positive. There's no more three, Pete. So, uh, let's see if we have any of those good picks. I know that we had a three-star value pick. We have the seventh pick and 27th isn't horrible at all. So, semi shit 2 is up to a 79 overall. That is pretty nice. So, this also lets me... I don't know. Do I want to move Decker and, like... If I go 7, Decker, and... Wait, Decker, and 27. Can I move up to, like, 3? Or, can I do 2? And I will give you a first-round pick next year. And 2 seconds. But this is as much as I'm going to do. Okay. Um. How about... Pick three. Who has pick three? Did I say the Warriors? Oh, that sucks. That, <laughs> that That's just terribly un... Whoops, nope, this, and I'll give you this first. And they agree to that. Okay. We now have the third overall pick. I don't really know what position I'm going to be drafting there. It's going to be somebody. I'll see you guys at the rookie signings. So I took Cole Anthony at pick five, or excuse me, pick three. I don't really ever get him a lot, and we need a backup point guard, so... Might as well. These two will be coming back. Not really sure if I'm going to trade either of them. Garland Green didn't even play. 
Doesn't really matter to me. We have no money. We do need to re-sign Draymond, though, so I'm going to not lose him. I'm going to pay the man. And hopefully he wants to come back here, and it looks like he does. So we get him back. DeAnthony Melton's a free agent. DeAnthony Melton is a free agent. Okay. Um, did he sign? Did I really? Oh, no, he's right here. Okay, well, I can't even afford him. Well, it's a good thing I just went ahead and drafted a point guard. It's very, very solid. He, I wish he had a qualifying offer, but unfortunately he does not. So Draymond Green, welcome back to the team. So let's see where we are. We have two point guards. This looks like Carmelo Anthony. Maybe I kept Melo. Uh, two shooting guards. We have a small forward. We have three power forwards. So I might actually trade Hartenstein for some sort of small forward at this point. I think at that point the rebuild's kind of all done. Um, I don't really know what else I could do with this team. Small forward. Is that Emil Jefferson? How tall is he? 6'9". Okay. Um, Roberson's going to go up by moving to small forward. We can use that defense off the bench. This team is all set. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final season. So I think if we were able to pull off this trade, it would be pretty cool. I really have never won a championship with Kevin Knox, and they consider him untouchable. Never mind. This is There's like a negative 6% chance of this happening. So, yeah, unless they do that. Yeah, nope. Never mind. Kevin Knox is not happening. And Porter Jr., 20 points isn't bad. I mean, do they consider him untouchable? They probably do, actually. Nuggets would require a million more. Um, just take Tony Parker. Wait. Oh, Nuggets would require a million more. Okay. Uh, you can give me this guy. Okay. Um, who's your oldest fucking player who's making, like, no money? Of course, everybody in this team is, like, relatively young. And I will give you Tony Parker. Okay. Yeah, he's untouchable. This is such a waste of time. Um, Jalen Brown, no. There's really nobody else. Uh, Chandler Hutchinson... Parker, just, just too much money. So, we're just going to leave Nasir Little in the starting lineup. There's no way Andre Roberson is starting over you. You're going to get, like, 18 minutes. Curry here. Zauki's going to get, like, 10. Bryn Forbes is not playing. Neither uh, Cole Anthony is. Cole Anthony's going to get, like, 15, actually. Um, We'll go 7. Actually, we'll go 15, and we'll go 16 to him. And then we're going to give Semi Shit to some minutes as well. We're going to give him, like, 10 as well. Little's going to play 31. We'll go 31 here, and we'll give 30 second to Draymond, because why not? This is it. Third and final season. I really hope this team can win a championship. Don't know if it will, but Paul, Harden, Little, Green, Capella, Curry, Anthony, Roberson, Key, and Shitu. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. So I have uh, progressively made this team worse. The records have gone down by year. It's literally not what you want at all, but... Simmons, Trey Jones, Simmons, Williams, Nick Nurse, Coach of the Year. We should have gotten Coach of the Year for the third year in a row, but... This game hates me, so it's all good. Stats, Harden's unbelievable. Same with Paul. Little's very good. Capella, Curry, Anthony. Uh, rebounds was... Or excuse me. I did assist. Rebounds was Capella. Assist was Chris Paul. Grizzlies round one. I really don't even care at this point. I'm, I'm kind of fed up with this game, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's all good. It's all good. We're going to lose. I just don't even care anymore. I really don't, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. If you guys didn't make sure to subscribe. Um, this was a very frustrating, frustrating video. I mean, I thought we made the team better. I guess I just didn't do a good enough job. I mean, we added Green, Roberson, Little, Curry, Shitu, Cole Anthony. Like, I, th I don't know. I thought this was a good team. I guess it wasn't good enough. So, again, hopefully you enjoyed. Spurs will be in the next rebuild, 2019 rebuild. Um, I'm probably going to do another trading everybody rebuild before the next 2019 rebuild. So, if you guys are looking forward to that, let me know that down below in the comment section. I'm sorry I couldn't win another championship with this team. We got one done, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video.